How's it going guys? Today I'm going to be doing an overview of Corrupted Chronomancer while the Hourglass of Transience is active. Once again with this class, I recommend using full luck enhancements. For your rotation, use 643, 242, 42253. It's a lot to remember, but this is what I've had the best results with. The Hourglass combined with Infinite Corruption makes for a decent soloer as its HOT helps to counteract the Hourglass's self-DOT, but with enough monster damage, the class will still be overwhelmed. Transience provides the highest DPS out of all the Hourglasses, but unfortunately it is somewhat reliant on RNG as the class has a lot of issues with mana sustain while it's active. Your safest corruption is infinite, but you can use 4C if you want to be super risky. Again with farming, you still lack range and AoE, but this time you also have a DOT ticking down on you, which makes the situation even worse. In PvP, Transient suffers from its poor mana sustain. Sometimes things can go in its favor, but in most cases it's going to be left with no mana and the inability to do anything but auto attack. And once again with support, no. The Hourglass of Transience brings high risk but high reward to the table, and in most cases the Hourglass makes the user more of a threat to themselves than the monster they are fighting. But with that being said, the ones who are able to master this Hourglass will be rewarded for their effort. Well, that concludes Corrupted Chronomancer, for now. I hope these videos were informative, and if you have any questions about the class, please leave a comment and I'll do my best to get back to you as soon as I can. But anyways, once again, thank you for watching, and have a nice day. Hmm, I wonder what happens if I use Entropic Corruption with this Hourglass.